So let me just unpack a little bit the choices involved in thinking. You have a problem of some kind. You can blink, as our friend Malcolm Gladwell says that you often should. Okay? You can think, as not our friend Simon Blackburn thinks that you always should. Okay? You can ask, which nobody thinks of as a real choice in thinking, but that's a form of thinking as well. Think of the internet as just an extension of the human brain. Okay? Or you can wink. Right, which is my mnemonic for reframing the problem. I don't want to think about this problem, I want to think about a different problem altogether. And you can do also what most humans do, which is delay. Okay? In which case you'll have another problem, maybe the same, maybe slightly different, and the choice gets iterated again. Right? So I have the elements of what I might call a mental style. Right? It's worth understanding what do you do when confronted with a problem. Do you go and ask? Do you blink? you make a gut decision? And of course, all combinations of these are possible as well. And every single one of them is going to have a value. Your brain computes, right? It calculates, it behaves, it goes on and on and on. Why not think of that behavior as being the outcome of a choice? When you go to the supermarket, you think of buying wheat bread or white bread, and you actually conceive of that as a choice. Why do you not conceive of the choice to do a web search or to sit down with pen and pencil and work out the problem from first principles as also a choice. Right? A lot of these choices are made unconsciously. So what the project here is, is let's try to build a model that predicts using this very, very simple paradigm, choice based on decisions, based on beliefs, based on desires, at every single level. Right? And by every single level, I mean every single level. I want to also create a choice model of, as I will show you in a minute, attending to your pain. So most people think of pain as something, if I, if I stick a needle in your hand, which I won't do, okay? Uh, you think of the pain that you feel as being the inevitable consequence of mice having stuck the needle in your hand, okay? But I will show you that the pain threshold of people who invest in certain kinds of practices is very much higher than the pain threshold of people who don't. Okay, so how, is that, how, is, how, how, how does that come to pass? Think of then experiencing the pain as itself the outcome of a choice. Okay? So, ascriptive science, which is the science that I put forward in this book, is different from descriptive science which is most of what the social sciences, at least some of them, pride themselves on, which is describing how people are. It's different from normative science, which is, which is talking about how they should be. It's also different from prescriptive science, which is telling them what they should do, given how most other people are. Okay? Ascriptive science is actually science that is aimed at maximizing your ability to predict your response and other people's responses and to control your response and other people's responses. It's turning social science into social engineering. 